If you're using Premiere Pro on a Macintosh computer, you can obviously just undock this whole panel and put it on the second monitor. I know a lot of you want to just see the composition or see what's in this viewer, just this right here. You don't want all these icons and buttons going to the second monitor. It's pretty easy to do on the Macintosh where it says Premiere Pro CC on the menu bar. You scroll down to where it says Preferences. You slide over and scroll down to hit Playback. Right here is where you have the option to output to the second monitor, and it will just be the composition. It won't obviously be this whole panel, but that's really all there is to it. I'm going to select OK. If you slide over to where this like little wrench is, you want to make sure Enable Transmit is selected as well. Now I just shut it off, and if I hit this again, now it outputs. So once you first select it, you might have to turn it on and off a couple times before it actually outputs. But that's all there really is to using dual monitors with Premiere Pro using an Apple computer. On a Windows PC, if you want to use Premiere Pro with dual monitors, you can select this panel here, undock it, and put it on the second monitor. It would have all these icons and buttons, and I know a lot of you don't want that outputting the second monitor. You just want what's in this preview window here or what's on the canvas. In order to do that, you just go to the menu bar. You go to where it says Edit. You'll scroll down to Preference. You'll scroll, scroll over till you get to Playback. You want to make sure Enable Mercury Transmit is enabled. If you have a DV converter or projects by Blackmagic Design, you can enable them doing this exact same thing. For this tutorial, I'm only going to use the Adobe Monitor 1. You can also decide what path you want the audio to output to. Do you want it, the audio to output to a Blackmagic Design device or a DV converter? It's pretty simple to set up Premiere Pro to make use of dual monitors, whether you're using a computer monitor or third-party hardware. So I'll just select OK, and I want to let people know that the option for Mercury Transmit, Enable, and Disable is also right over here as well. That's really all there is to using dual monitors on a Windows PC when using Premiere Pro. When using dual monitors, it may be more beneficial to have them stacked one on top of another as opposed to having them side by side. But in the end, it's really what works best for you.